with you. Yeah, you better get out of the room. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Haja and in today's video I want to show you how you can wear the no foundation makeup look or also known as the clean girl makeup look in just five minutes. To be honest, I have watched several YouTube videos where they say five minutes but it's more because of how they cut the video to pack the application into a five minutes video. But I wanted the application to really take you only five minutes to apply, so I'm going to set a timer for five minutes to prove to you that you can look naturally beautiful in only five minutes. I think this look is great for the hot, sweaty summer days, as well as great for the skin as it is able to breathe. Especially in summer, that is what your skin needs, and as we all know, sweat and in general, humidity is a great way for bacteria to build up on the skin and cause inflammation in form of breakouts and pimples. Before starting, I want you to take note that if you're a spontaneous person like me and you know that some days you might have only five minutes for your makeup, then make sure to gather your go-to products for each face part into a cosmetic bag so you have them all set for when you need them. Now for me to be able to apply this look in five minutes, I should not talk while recording, so so I will do a voiceover. Ready to get started? Then let's go. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and let's go. I'm using the Avan Hydrance Emulsion. It is lightweight and absorbs fast, which is important to us right now. So I'm applying my moisturizer. Because that is very important to have a smooth surface when your skincare is on, your makeup and in general your skin just looks so much better. <laughs> Next I'm going for my sunscreen. The sunscreen lotion is from Nivea Sun. It is mattifying and has chemical filters which helps the skin to absorb fast without leaving a white cast. Okay, next comes my concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30. Okay, back to the application. I apply the concealer around my eyes as this is where I have the most discoloration. <laughs> Important note is to use a concealer that has the same shade as your foundation or is true to your own skin color because that will create a non-patchy look. If you deal with severe dark eye circles, use an orange or peachy color corrector beforehand because that will neutralize the dark so you will not end up with a grayish cast. Thank you. 
Next, I set my concealer with my favorite translucent powder by Laura Mercier right after the concealer application to prevent the cream product from creasing into the fine lines of the lid and under eye area. I also apply it on my T-zone to keep those shiny parts matte throughout the day. Then, for a little pop of color to my complexion, I use a cream blush stick which has a matte texture by the brand Nude Sticks in the shade Sunkissed. It comes with a brush as you can see, but I like to use my fingers to blend the product. I dab it on my cheeks and also work on my cheekbones a little, as well as my nose. Onto the eyes. Here I use a mascara by Fenty Beauty called Full Frontal Volume. I apply in zigzag motions to lift them. I definitely take this 5 minute challenge seriously as you can see because I'm in a rush. So I switched to the brow setting gel by Got To Be. I brushed my brow hairs in their hair growth direction to fix and style them. I really love this product, it is definitely my holy grail product. I have recorded a video on it, so stay tuned for this product review. So by now I got a few seconds left for my lips, it is important not to choose a flashy lipstick color, hence I went for a matte nude velvet passion lipstick by Kiko Milano in the shade 316. Last but not least, I completed the look by applying the NYX matte setting spray all over my face. It will help to lock in that small amount of makeup into your skin. Mm. Well. I'm done on time. It was uh, really hectic, but I'm done. So this is basically how I get ready when I want to look natural but still fresh. My husband loves this look on me the most, probably because I don't look like a melting cheese. Anyway, jokes aside, I have to add, it just feels much better than wearing foundation, especially in summer. Every product feels so heavy on the skin and the feeling of melting foundation is probably the worst. So I highly encourage you to try out this look and let me know whether you are the more natural type or more glam type of person when it comes to makeup in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to like this video hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss out on the next upcoming tutorial.